Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 Illustrator Part tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install the Carson SA365 Siren by Baker X Goody. One of the best creators for sirens on LS Video Far. Anytime I switch up my sirens, I always go to Baker X Goody to find the best sirens. So we are going to go ahead and show you how to install that today. If you are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. We come out with content almost every single day. And also check my channel out because I have tons of tutorials on this channel that will show you how to install anything that you need for LS Video Far. So also Definitely smash that like button, show some love to the channel, help this channel out, and I'm going to help you install this siren inside your game for LS Video Far. So what you want to do is go ahead and click download this file right here, just like so. And why that is downloading, what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and open up OpenIV. So we're going to go right here, go to OpenIV, and we're going to go Grand Theft Auto 5. We're going to go to Windows, just like so. And we're going to go in and open this up while we are still downloading the Carson Siren. So what you want to do is go up here to the top where it says edit mode. Click on that. Click yes. And make sure you guys have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you need to watch a video to show you how to install OpenIV and how to create a mods folder. For those of you that do have it, what you guys want to do, click inside your mods folder. And if you do not see X64 in there, I'm going to show you how to get it in there. Okay. So you're going to go back up here to the top to GTA V. You're going to go right here where it says X64. You're going to click on that. You're going to go to audio. You're going to go to SFX. And you're going to go right down here. And you're going to find resident.rpf. So this file right here. What you're going to do is double click on it. And it's either going to say copy to mods folder or show in mods folder. If it does not say that, make sure edit mode is on. Okay. You should have a light blue box around edit mode. And that will indicate that it is on. Okay, so you should got show in mods folder or copy to mods folder. Okay, if you're just installing this, it should say copy to mods folder. So click that and then go back up here to the top and click GTAV. So what you're going to do is now go inside your mods folder. You're going to go to X64. You're going to click on that. You're going to go to audio. You're going to go to SFX and you're going to stay right here. Okay, so we're going to stay right here. And we just downloaded that file from Baker X Goody. So what I'm going to do is go to my downloads and I use WinWar to open up my zip files. Okay. So I'm going to open that up and you can see right here it is called WinWar. It says that you have to pay for it. You do not. Okay. You can just click X out of this, um, but that's how you spell it. And that's what I use to open up my zip files. If you have something else, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to use this, but this is what I use to open up my zip files. So we are going to go in here. We're going to go to this folder right here, okay? The Carson SA365 Siren. We're going to click on that. Now, there's another folder in here that says 5M LSPDFR Siren File. What you want to do is click on that file right there, and you're going to have a resident.rpf file right there, okay? So pull your OpenIV back up and make sure you are in this location. GTA V, Mods, X64, Audio, SFX, okay? So we're going to pull our download up and we're going to take resident.rpf drag and drop over here. Okay. Again, make sure edit mode is on. So just drag and drop over here to open IV just like so. So we can click X out of this download. And now what we're going to do is we're going to jump inside GTA 5 and let you guys hear the new siren that you just installed inside your game. So let's go ahead and jump over to GTA 5. So now that we're inside GTA 5, I'm going to let you hear the new siren that you just installed inside your game. So let's go ahead and hop inside this Tahoe right here. And I'm going to go through the sirens. So we are going to go ahead and hit number one. Number two. Number three. And number four. So you guys can hear the sirens there. And there you go. Them are the new sirens that you have in your game now. If you ever want to replace some sirens, you could just follow the same steps. Just replace the resident.rpf file. And that will put your new siren in that you want. Thank you all for coming by and watching. Hopefully, y'all enjoy this. Definitely smash that like button. 
and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.